<coughs> and welcome. I'm Joe May. This is Little Bit Honeybees YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, treatment for nosema in the spring and the fall with essence of oils. Um, Nox nosema is a you know a, a, a fungal thing that the bees get gives them a belly ache basically and gives them the runs and you'll notice on the front of the hives and stuff on the, on the lids they'll have streaks where they've done it and uh, you can get on you know the supply bee house supply chain uh, places and buy stuff to treat for nosema you know maybe cost you twenty dollars to treat three hives or something this here you can treat 50 highs for pennies, and it does a real good job. We do it as a preventative. Uh, we're going to use today tea tree oil, wintergreen, and a little bit of lemongrass. The tea tree oil is an antifungal, antibacterial thing. Uh, wintergreen, don't know all exactly what it does, but it will kill some mites. They eat this stuff up and they put it in, mix it with the food that they feed the larvae in there, and it does help cut down on mite control. Not a big thing on mites, but a little bit. It, it's pretty simple. This is Fat Bee Man's recipe. Uh, look at his channel on YouTube. It's uh, Don the Fat Bee Man. He'll teach you everything there is to know about raising bees. Good, good channel. Okay, let's get started. You, uh, you'll need a blender. And you gotta have a glass mixer on it. If you use plastic, it'll melt it. The essence oil will melt it. Same way with your measuring spoons. It can't be plastic, it's gotta be metal. It, it's pretty simple. Everybody knows oil and water don't mix, but we're gonna mix oil and water. We're gonna emulsify it with a blender. Put about a cup of water in here. Then we're gonna take our tea tree oil. One teaspoon tea tree oil. Then we're going to take wintergreen. Put about one teaspoon. One teaspoon of wintergreen. Now lemongrass is real strong. It, it, it doesn't take very much of this to go a long way. And we'll use an eyedropper. We're just going to put about three drops in there. Half ah, four, I can't count. But this is real strong. Don't overdo it on the lemongrass oil. it on the blender. Now we're going to mix this up, emulsify it. You actually do you beat air into it and cause the oil and the water to mix. You've got to mix it for at least five minutes. So we'll turn this thing on and we'll be back after it gets mixed up. Welcome back. This thing's been mixing for about six minutes. Uh, this half gallon mason jug, you get them. I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but they got lines on these. These lines are one cup. This is going to be our concentrate. Blender, you want to rinse your blender out good because these oils are pretty strong and they eat the seals out of your blender. Mix a little bit of fresh water here a couple, three times.
There's that. Now we've got our concentrate in there. I'm going to go to your cup lines. Fill that thing all the way up to the last line. With fresh water. You've already got the oil in, incorporated in it, so it's all mixed up. It just takes a little bit of shaking. You see it's all well mixed. This will stay mixed for six months, whatever. It, it, it's pretty good stuff. Like I say, this is a treatment for spring and fall. Early spring when you first start feeding, you want to get your bees all, uh, all back in shape. You take up one cup of this concentrate and put it to um, a gallon of sugar water. And in the fall, you want to do it just when the, you know, late in the fall and some pretty days. You can give them about a week's worth, get them in shape so they go through the winter good. Uh, it's a little bit of honey bee channel. Uh, if you like the videos, subscribe. Uh, we're going to try to keep these going, make several this summer on different things. We got this tank mixer here for mixing our sugar water. We'll do a video on that one of these days. I'm Joe Mike. We'll catch you again. Thanks.